a football forecast right now because there's a little rain that we're seeing moving into Montgomery County, and that is going to be home to our ball game tonight as UAB takes on Jacksonville State. There will be some showers and storms. I think we're going to be on the fringe of dodging a bullet here. The rain is moving in right now as we speak. There could be just a couple of lingering showers for that kickoff. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s, but I think by the time we get to the end of the ball game, it will be much improved weather. It should be drying out by halftime and for the final whistle. So it's not going to be all gray and gloom, but you may want to grab the poncho. All right, look at the sky from Talladega. It's dry as a bone at Talladega Super Speedway, but you can see off in the distance those clouds forming. We did have some rain that just pushed through Talladega County. Temperatures right now sitting at 79 degrees. There's the rainfall now, so our camera sits right off Interstate 20. It was facing due east southeast, so we were picking up the back edge of that thunderstorm there. So showers and storms picking up from Talladega, Sylacauga. Those are going to be moving towards Lineville. I'm also tracking this thunderstorm out of Columbus. It's moving into, uh, will be moving into Aliceville over the next 60 minutes and then on into Hale County as this storm continues, or Greene County, I should say, uh, as it moves towards Utah right now. All right. Heavy rainfall now creating that little outflow boundary, but most of that heavy rain has been parked in East Mississippi. The another thunderstorm that we're tracking is from Coleman up towards Baileyton. This is going to be crossing over Highway 278 as we speak. Hansville, Nectar, Aniana, and Sneed, your next step in about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, and then the within the hour, it's going to be moving into Springville, just north of Margaret, and then on into Raglan. A lot of these storms will be fizzling out as we head towards sunset, but some of the rain Rain has produced some rain cooled air. Moundville's dropped to the upper 60s right now, but where we haven't seen much rain, temperatures easily climbed into the mid 80s. Aniston sitting at 86 right now. As we plan our day tomorrow, though, the rain clears out completely tonight as this front moves through. Drier air slides in. Morning temperatures will be in the 60s tomorrow. I'll take it. Mid 70s, mid morning, even towards 12 o'clock, 79 degrees, and highs tomorrow back in the mid 80s. But with those lower humidities and that drier air sliding in, it's going to feel much better. That dry air really starts to dive down south late Thursday night into Friday morning. I think Friday morning may be one of our coolest mornings that we have all weekend. It's going to be a great weekend for football. Temperatures in both Atlanta and in Auburn will be in the 80s for those 2.30 and 6 o'clock kickoffs there. So just keep that in mind. Could see a stray shower later this weekend, but not bad as we roll into Labor Day on Monday. And that's a look at your Storm Team 7-Day Forecast.